Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello, I'm the Cyber Earth Guru. Thank you for watching. So recently I completed a project which required a, a fair amount of 3D modeling, but more importantly, required me to have a bunch of electronic uh, parts uh, enclosed in some 3D printed um, uh, enclosures. <laughs> uh, and so I, I found it very challenging to kind of use my caliper and, and measure out all the holes and whatnot. And I discovered a nifty new little feature that they've added to uh, Fusion 360 recently uh, combined with Eagle CAD, which are now both owned by Autodesk, that allows you to import um, printed circuit board uh, designs into Fusion 360 as 3D modeled parts. And so this is really important because uh, the parts that I happen to be using were open source, open hardware uh, source parts uh, provided by Adafruit and they upload their CAD files in Eagle format and you can view them. So with a few clicks of a button, I was able to take these parts that I purchased from them, turn them into 3D models, put them into the actual thing that I was modeling and get exact dimensions, you know, down to the micrometer uh, of what I was trying to make. And so it was incredibly useful uh, for me finalizing the part and finishing everything I want to do. So just want to make a quick video, show you how to do it. It's ridiculously easy and uh, then show you the power of the uh, of the final product, if you will. So let's cut over to, I guess, uh, Eagle and then we'll cut over to Fusion. Stand by. Okay, so here we are in Eagle CAD. I have pulled up of the printed circuit board of the Adafruit motor driver. It happens to be the 8833 motor driver. Uh, I got this file from their GitHub page where you can download uh, schematics and printed circuit boards of uh, pretty much all of their parts that they sell. Um, in this case, this is uh, incredibly powerful because I can load this into Eagle CAD and then synchronize it into Fusion. And the particular project I was working on, which uh, once I do a video for it, I'll link it here. But uh, in, in this case, I wanted to create a mounting bracket for this particular part. And so rather than using my calipers to figure out how big it was and guesstimate the size of the holes, I, I loaded this in Eagle CAD here, and then I just simply click this button right here that says uh, Fusion Sync. We'll click it, and it's gonna say, hey, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna link it to an existing design or create a new Fusion design? Uh, in my case, I actually just linked it to the existing design, but uh, here we're just gonna say, create a new Fusion design. It's gonna go out, uh, synchronize it with Fusion, and it's gonna say, hey, where do you wanna put it? I'm gonna stick it in projects for now. I'm gonna click OK. It's going to ask you, you know, what parts do you want to push uh, to the uh, to, to, to Fusion? And in this case, uh, none of the 3D packages are actually defined, and, and that's okay. And I'll show you when we get over there why that's why that's not a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and click push. It's going to think for a while. Uh, it doesn't take too too long. It depends on the size of the design. It's going to push it. It says it may take several minutes. In my experience, it takes about a minute or so. So we'll do the, you know, Jeopardy. Do, do, do. Well, there you go. I don't even have to Jeopardy yet. Uh, there you go. S successfully pushed. And we'll click OK. It's going to say, hey, what do you want to do? You know, do you want to edit the source, pull this, what, whatever. So if the design changes and you pull down a new version in from like GitHub exactly, you, uh, you know, you can come in here and say, hey, pull it from Fusion or push it to Fusion. Or if you edit it in Fusion for whatever reason or another, it'll push it back, which is very, very cool. That bi-directional synchronization, super cool, super powerful if you need that option. So I'm going to click close. We're going to minimize this guy. We're going to go into Fusion here. We have Fusion open. I'm gonna open my control panel here and it says right here, hey, data in this folder has been updated. Yes, it has, because we just pushed something. So I'm gonna click refresh. That's really important. And ta-da, look, Ada Fruit uh, Driver uh, 8833. So I'm gonna double click this. I'm gonna open the part. Uh, let's close that control panel here. You can see here, the part is, uh, for whatever reason, they, they stick it on edge. Uh, that's okay, it doesn't really matter from our orientation perspective. Uh, and I'm gonna expand this tree here to show you what's going on. Uh, so the only part we really care about, at least from my perspective, uh, right now is the printed circuit board itself. 
uh, all of the rest of the blobs, if you will, the red, blue, uh, orange kind of parts here, uh, would be useful if we had 3D models in uh, Eagle CAD that says how big is the part, what does it look like, what are its physical dimensions. Um, we don't have any of that. So uh, Fusion in the conversion is just kind of guesstimated, you know, what does this part look in th look like in 3D land? Um, but we don't need any of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and just turn it all off. <laughs> um, it's a little tedious, uh, admittedly, especially if you have a part with a lot of uh, a printed circuit board with a lot of parts. I'm going to turn it all off, and you can see how what it's doing is it's essentially uncovering uh, all of the holes and the dimensions and the geometry here. And so I'm going to click Save, uh, user Save here. And so what you have here is essentially the raw printed circuit board uh, with the silk mask and the solder mask on it. Um, it's got the top and the bottom. It's look, it's got the logo here. It's 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 some cool stuff. But let me show you the power of this. I'm going to click over to this test uh, design here. I'm going to open a control panel. I'm going to say insert into current design. Uh, we'll close the control panel here real quick, and it just inserted this uh, part uh, that we had just modeled, created, imported, and we'll click OK. Um, it just imported into this new design. And so we can create a new sketch here. I'm going to say create a sketch in the bottom and we'll do it from the top. Uh, top. Let's do this. We'll create a quick rectangle, hit R for rectangle, create a rectangle around that, click OK. And then we're going to hit P for project. We're going to project the holes. Boom, there you go. I'm going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to now turn off the printed circuit board. I'm going to say, OK, we got the holes projected. That's cool, but I want to create a center circle. Uh, and I want to make it two millimeters. Oops, there you go, two millimeters. Hit OK. Another thing here, let's see, uh, center circle, C for center circle. Let's type in two, two millimeters done. We'll stop the sketch. And now we can kind of create a, a cradle, if you will, for this part. So we'll hit E for extrude. We'll extrude it down, in this case, two millimeters. Um, now we got the holes already there. Now one thing that I have learned, um, like in the last, thing that I did. Let's go ahead and do a, I want to create a, a post for the post to stick up. So I'm going to hit E, extrude, and we'll do this. We'll do this. We're going to extrude it up. Let's say two millimeters. That's fine. Now this is a little absurd, obviously, because this is not uh, touching anything, but we can quickly do another extrude here. I'm going to click that circle and that circle, and I'm going to extrude it down negative two millimeters. Do a join. It's going to join everything together. We'll turn the sketch off. We'll turn this print circuit board back on. And look, what do you have? You have a little holder for the print circuit board. Uh, now, in my case, I had a much more complicated design, obviously, but I used this printed circuit board to model what the, the, the actual model needed to be. And when I printed it, when I 3D printed it, it fit perfectly. It was magical. And so, it's so amazing. Okay, so I've opened a new design here and I want to show you the actual design that I was making that I alluded to in the previous segment here, uh, but is a project that I've been working on for a while now. And again, I'm going to make a whole video about this, so don't stress about all the details. But here you go. This is the power uh, of what I did. Uh, and so I actually imported a number of different uh, devices, if you will. So we have the, the, the motor driver, which we just uh, showed there. Uh, it's right here. Here's the motor driver. And then I have a little what is known as an Itsy Bitsy 32U4, which is another part made by Adafruit, which is the microprocessor. It's, it's essentially a little mini Arduino. And then on that is this LiPo charger, which I can connect a battery to. And so uh, I imported this, this JST connector as well as this uh, two pin header here into the parts so that it'll give me some a little bit more frame of reference from a vertical Z perspective. But what I did is I created this little mounting plate here and then the little posts which I showed you in a previous video um, to, to mount everything together and then because I did you know accurate modeling here you can see I put a little uh, uh, spacer here to, to, to rest the part down on and then that allowed the little header pins which ultimately we added at the end uh, here that will press down in there um, but it allowed me to completely 3d model my entire design uh, by importing these printed circuit boards which is incredibly useful if you've ever tried to do this manually by you know measuring it with calipers and whatnot so uh, this is the power of what we're talking about 
Okay, so there you have it. There is the ability now, that amazing ability to synchronize what you're doing in Eagle CAD in a kind of a 2D printed circuit board model into Fusion 360, into the 3D model space. This is going to be amazing when they build this out, when you can actually model the entire integrated circuit infrastructure into uh, Eagle and then pull it into Fusion. It's going to be amazing. Um, but you can see the power there, how I, I pulled those printed circuit boards. It took you know like less than a minute to take that design, pull it into Fusion, and then start modeling around it. Uh, this is going to be incredibly powerful. I'm super excited by this new feature, and I hope you are too. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you know what? I'd appreciate a thumbs up anyway, just because. Um, you know, don't forget to subscribe. Really important these days. Subscribers are kind of where it's at, if you want to quote back. Um, and ring the bell. Yeah, ring the bell. Uh you know, wherever the bell is. Ring the bell if you want to be notified of new content. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget, you know, be inspired. And hope to see everyone soon. Thanks.